Hello all, welcome back. In the previous lecture, we discussed about F get C and F put C. Now, we will discuss about how to read the integer and how to write the integer using the get W and put W. So, let's start with the program first. Before starting with the program, I want to explain get W is the function. It is used to read the integer from the file. And put w is the function it is used to write the integer to the file so how we can use the both the function let me explain first here you can declare the file pointer for example i am just declaring the file pointer fp fp is equal to here you can open the file for example i am just opening the file that is data.txt in write plus mode so why i am using the write plus mode just because I want to first write to the file and then I want to read back the same content from the file. So I'm just writing here fp is equal to f open. Now I'm just closing the file and in between I want to process the something and that is what. Here you can just write integer number. Now I want to ask to the user that enter the number and that I want to write into the file. So first we will do what i will ask the user that enter number now i will just scan the data so i'm just writing here m person number now i want to write that particular number into the file that is data.txt so you can call the function put w here the first argument is your number and second argument is your file pointer so this will write your number into the file now I want to read back the same content and whenever you want to read back the same content you need to set your position to the beginning and to set the cursor at the beginning you can call the function rewind and you can set your file pointer. Now I want to read the number so very simple here you can call percentage %d and you can call the function that is get w and whenever you call get w you just need to pass the file pointer and it will read the one integer from the file. So get w and put w is used to read and write the one integer. Whenever you run this particular program, it will ask the number. For example, I'm just writing the number that is 123. So it will just simply retrieve the 123 from the file. So this 123 is written to the file and this 123 is the retrieved from the file. But I don't want to write the one number. I want to write the multiple numbers. So how we can write the multiple numbers? Very simple. Here you can just use the loop that is while number not equal to minus 1. It means until and unless the number not become the minus 1, just get the number from the user and write the same number into the file. Here you can just simply initialize your number with the 0. And here you can just ask to the user that enter number and press minus 1 for exit. So what happened? It will just simply retrieve the number one by one from the user. Now, I want to read all this number. So how we can do this? Very simple. Here you can just write the loop that is while. Now here you can write number is equal to, you can call the get w of fp. It means one by one your number will be read from the file not equal to minus 1. It means until and unless it reaches to the end of the file, get the 1 by 1 every number. And then simply print all this number. So you can just write here printf percentage %d and a number. So what happened whenever you run this particular code, it will ask you to enter the number minus 1 for exit. So I'm just entering the number. Once you write all these numbers, now you can just write minus 1. See here, all the numbers are written to the file and it is read from the file. Now, I don't want to do only these things. What I want to do, once all these numbers are written to the file, now I want to read the content of this file and then based on the content, I want to divide this content into odd file and even file. It means, I want to read the content of data.txt in the new program and that is, let me save, that is demo5.c. What I want to do? 
I want to read the content from the file. So I will just write here that is read. So I will open this file into read mode. Whenever you run this, it will simply read the content of this file. See here. Now I want to do what? I want to separate out the odd numbers and even numbers. And I want to create the two files based on this file. So how we can do this? Very simple. Whenever you want to create the new file, you can create the new file pointer. So I'm just writing here pointer odd and pointer even. Definitely we can open that particular file. So I'm just writing here odd is equal to f open. Here you can just write the name of your file. For example, odd.txt. Now I want to open this file into write plus mode. Why? Because I want to first write the content into odd.txt and then I want to read the content from the odd.txt. I will simply copy this and here I want to do the same thing for the even.txt also. So I'm just opening the even file also. And here at last you can just close the odd file and here you can just close the even file. Now, whenever you read the content from the file that is data.txt, here you can just write the condition that if number modulo 2 equal equal 0, then write the content into even file. So I will just call the function that is put w and you can pass the number into even.txt. If number modulo 2 is not equal to 0, then write the number into old file. Once the content is written to the odd and even both, now I want to rewind the position. I want to set the position at the beginning of the file. So I'm just writing here rewind even. So the cursor will be set to the first beginning. You can call here rewind odd. Now cursor is set to the first position. Now here you can simply write the loop to read the content. So I'm just writing here printf slash n content of old file so i want to display the content of old file first while and here you can write number is equal to get w but now we will read from the old not equal to minus one it means until and unless the file is not get empty and my file pointer is not reach to the end of the file just read the number one by one and just print the number so i'm just writing here percentage d and you can print the number you can do the same thing for the even file definitely we did the rewind position so i just need to use the loop again content of even here you can just write that is the get w even now you can simply run your particular program and you will be able to see that what happens see this is my program having the data.txt data data is read from the file now based on the data my old data is set into the content of old file and the even data is available into the content of even file it means what i did first i write the data into data.txt now based on the data I just filter out the data so i just read the data from the data.txt and based on the data i just created the two separate file one is the odd.txt another is the even.txt and in odd.txt i written the odd numbers and in even.txt i written the even numbers and once the number is written using the rewind function i set the position at the beginning and then simply i printed the content of odd and content of even so this is the way you can use the put w and get w now based on this program you can develop the so many program for example you can get the numbers from the user you can store into data.txt now based on the data you can generate the decimal to binary and all these things you can also filter out the prime numbers and all these things and you can write it to another file so whenever you want to deal with the numbers you can use the get w and put w and whenever you want to deal with the character you can use the get c and put c so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all have a nice day